Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, this is for people who have uh, kindly volunteered to give their time to Online Astronomy Society. Uh, those who have given us a talk, uh, this is for you. Um, the whole point of this tutorial is just to give you a brief overview of what to expect on the evening when uh, you come to give your talk. At the point of time it will be arranged that you will probably lock in around about sort of 7 o'clock in the evening. Um, even though the talk gives, you know, takes up at about so 7.30, it allows about half an hour for you to um, make sure your speakers work, make sure you're able to show your desktop and so on. Now I've cheated slightly but you would have been given this link and uh, this will be provided to you by the... <laughs> just a second, I'm just going to go and briefly get that. We'll try that again, welcome back. Um, as I say you would have been given this um, link either you'd click it from uh, Facebook where we post it or you'd um, he emailed it. But here we are, we paste that into the browser and then we can enter. Uh, somebody would already be in the, the room so if there won't be any reason to hang around or anything, you should take it straight in there. So we'll just go through this brief thing. Well that's where a few people are, so if you could identify yourself as OS speaker or by name, just as long as we know who you are. Set the screen. I, I recommend the OAS speaker though because if somebody else has got the same name as you it can get confusing. So this is the um, interface that you meet first and foremost. Um, up here is the main icon, you click on that for speaking so as soon as you're given your your um, mother 18 permissions you can click on that and away you go. Speaking of which we'll do that now. So I'll come back here and then change user type to mod. There we go, and it flashes up there just to see you've now been made a moderator. Um, this just gives you more powers. Um, you are the host of, of the talk, you, everything is centered around you. Um, in contrast to giving this talk in, in a um, sort of a, a live auditorium, you are the main person everybody hears, nobody else's voices can be heard and that's the thing I should say here, yeah, that um, even though you can't hear anything externally apart from maybe the OS host speaking to you, um, you won't be able to hear anything from anybody else but everybody will be hearing you, so, so please keep that in mind. Um, but the purpose is the privacy, um, this is the talk button up there, by clicking on that you then get this little icon here that basically states your microphone has been enabled. Um, obviously, clearly, if um, anybody comes in to speak to you, if there's any um, sort of private, family discussion going on, by clicking on the talk button, you mute it off, and you can go on dealing with things, and you can, you know, just conserve your privacy that way as well. So keep in mind that as soon as you hit the talk button, everybody can in theory hear the same. So please keep that in mind. The users as they appear will be listed down here, so people will once they come into the room will be listed, will be listed down there. There's only the OS speaker and the OS host on here at the minute. You've just disabled the um, the talk button so your microphone is gone. You've also got a webcam but we don't really need that um, because uh, if it, the basically rule of thumb is less bandwidth we use the better really. So uh, we'll just keep it to talk for, this, for the purposes of this tutorial. Down here as well as the chat facility, I think everybody's seen and used these. Um, what we'll do now is we'll walk through the actual process of sharing your desktop, running a PowerPoint, and then um, conclusion. So we share the screen. There's no need to upload any PowerPoint so files or anything like that here. Um, all you just literally do is share your screen. That's how it works. I will say at this point, um, if this is the first time you've come in, you'll get that pop-up window coming up. Uh, just to install the um, software, it's usually indicated down to the task bar on the right hand side as well. So by enabling that, it just runs an app that, which enables your screen to be shown. And that will then mean that screen can now be seen. Now it doesn't matter what you do from here, as long as you don't shut this browser, you can minimise it. And then from here too, you can go in. My desktop's a tight cluttered, but what I'm going to do is just quickly race across to a PowerPoint presentation. You probably have yours on the desktop with an easy reach. You could then go ahead and run this and 
there thus you can have your um, presentation shown and you can see up here confirmation that your desktop is still being shared and then the entire world um, who's logged in can see that at the same time. Usually up to about 50 people can log in um, and, and then we run session but we don't only get as many as that to be honest. But it's worth noticing though that desktops can be personal approved. Um, if you, I will say if you've got any images which might be of any exquisite nature, um, anything personal that you've got on there that you wouldn't necessarily want the entire world to see, I do recommend having a quick look over your desktop and just tighten up anything that you wouldn't want the outside world to see. Um, including personal bank details, anything like that. Um, it's, it can happen, you could, you know, forgotten that you were logged into to your online banking when this kicks off. Um, if people, if basically everything your best that the rest of the world can see as well. So from here you can run your presentation, not a problem. You can speak all the way through, no issues. The only thing we do recommend though is if possible we try to have a Skype operation um, concurrent explain at the same time. Sometimes what happens is, is that so you could be going away merrily for your um, for your talk and accidentally lose connection or whatever and the rest of the people would be wondering what's going on. So to this point we, we do try to keep it where uh, at least the OS host can still speak with you. Um, maybe try perhaps if a mobile number can be obtained if not or if a Skype session can maybe be kept open that way anything that can be shoot straight through this and say hey well, can you slow down please we have a problem. Also keep in mind as well when you first open up the PowerPoint that um, there's going to be a bit of a delay between what's on your screen and what actually gets online. Um, you'll be prompted as soon as we can see. And from here of course you can confirm before you go on ahead that yes we can hear you, yes we can see you. So from here we can, con we can confirm all that. And uh, other that, you can go all the way through your talk, not a problem. And then once you've finished your talk, you can then log back out. And um, any questions, obviously with the talk enabled, can be um, taken. The only person who will be able to speak, by the way, um, is yourself. Uh, the OS host will enable and disable their microphone at will. The reason for that is because of bandwidth problems. If everybody's got microphones and webcams on at the same time, slows things right down, you get feedback and uh, it's just not productive and slows things up. This way at least, um, things should be a lot easier to manage. And from here, um, you'll see people on here, will, people will log in on here, they'll either be called guests or they might put their own names in. And then down here, any questions can then be taken and you can verbally give the answer. Uh, if that's a problem, um, simply turn off the talk uh, button from up here as, as explained earlier. And of course, it's where you can stop sharing your screen when you're done. And now you're free. Your desktop is now out of the limelight, so to speak. But from here again, just people can post questions, and that'll be moderated by the OAS host. And um, yourself will be able to answer the questions. The OAS host will also advise people and chip in a little bit extra on sort of maybe what you're saying. So they might sort of. Um, offer something else that's kind of around the actual going and nothing to worry about. The chances are during your talk you won't necessarily see much of this screen anyway. But if at any time you have any problems however, you can hopefully not get this wrong. <laughs> it should be possible to send a private chat with the OS host. So by clicking on the, the star, you can send a private chat. You can have a private um, comms open directly with the OE, with, with the host of the uh, webinar. And that way, you can have a bit of privacy if there is a problem. So in that way, at least you've, um, you've uh, solved that. Other than that, there's not much else to worry about. Um, the talk should last about 45 minutes to an hour, allowing for questions after maybe an extra hour, maybe an extra half an hour after that. But other than that, that's all there is to give him uh, a talk to the Online Astronomy Society. Um, as the director of the Online Astronomy Society, Alistair Lee, I'd like to say um, thanks again for, for um, um, offering your time and your expertise. We're most grateful to you. Thank you very much for listening.